Okay guys, in this third tutorial, we're going to go ahead and show you how to like and comment a picture. So on the left hand side, make sure you click on Instagram tasks. All right. I click on add task. This time I'm going to write like and comment. Hit OK. Pick the correct social media platform, which is Instagram. Right click here, add a module. Always remember you start out with an account. To pick which account you want, go ahead and click on the checkbox next to the name. All right, use all checked accounts. Right click here, add an additional module. This time we're gonna go ahead and select another text. I'm gonna go ahead and input some hashtags. So let me go ahead and type in epic fails fails, lol, instagood. All right, if you have more hashtags filled in here, you can go ahead and select a random row, but I only have a couple, so we're just gonna go ahead and select from the first row, and then do not delete. You wanna save these hashtags. Let's go ahead and move on to the next module. Right click here, add a module, search, and we're gonna go ahead and select photos. Account source is always your account, and the keyword is always going to be a text. All the default conditions for the search amount, the timeout, everything is perfect. The only thing we need to do right here, select the first row and delete the row. So you don't ever like or comment on the same picture more than once. Let's go ahead and add an additional module. Let's go ahead and add the like module. The post source is going to be the searched photos that you found. The account source is always going to be your account. Default values here for timeout and the run times is going to be all run all source because those are all the pictures that you collected. Successful results here. We want to see what we get. Uh, the data that we're fetching is always going to be first row and then delete the row. We don't want to like or comment the same picture more than once. Moving on. Click here, add another module and add a text file. In this text file, we can go ahead and add a comment that we'd like. For this instance, I'm just going to type in, hi. After you're done, you're going to go ahead and click on first row and do not delete. Right click here, add a module and select comment. The post source is always going to be the liked pictures. The account source is going to be account. And the comment source is going to be the most recent text that you selected. So number five. All right, run all source. So this is going to run on every single um, image that is collected, saving the successful results. We're going to fetch the first row data and then delete the row. There you go, and you're all set. We're going to go ahead and hit the OK button. Make sure you click on the like and comment underneath Instagram tasks and only this one so that all the tasks appear right here and hit the run button. Remember, you can uh, choose your own schedule, but right now we're going to run now and we're going to run it one time. You can always put it on an infinite loop and let's see the bot in action. As you can see here, it selected the account, took in the hashtags, found some photos. Now it's attempting to like. It's completed its, <clears throat> it's successfully completed its first like. And now we're gonna wait for the additional likes are gonna finish based on these intervals. And it's gonna move on to the comment section. And once it's all done, we're gonna be all set. Let's give this a couple seconds and we're gonna be right back. Okay, now the system is going to go ahead and take the text, and it has successfully completed one comment. And we're waiting for the next interval, and once it's all done, we're going to be ready to go. And you're all set. Feel free to use any combination of the campaigns to create your own campaign, such as combining the follow and the like, maybe the follow, like, and comment together to set up your own campaign. Um, there's different variations and different ways to use the bot. 
feel free to experiment and let us know what you think. Thank you very much. Once again, thank you very much. This is Al from White Hat Box. Hope to see you on the next tutorial.